in this video i'm going to show you how to find the coordinates at the point where the curve is cutting the x and y axis using the 2023 gce mathematics paper 1 1022b all right so here's the question the diagram shows the graph of the function y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 15. the curve cuts the x-axis at point A and point B and the y-axis at C. So this curve is cutting the x-axis at point A and B and is cutting the y-axis at C. Alright, the first part they are saying find the coordinates of B and C. So they want you to find the coordinates of B and C. Now how are we going to find these coordinates of, of B and C? So in order for us to work out the coordinates of B and C, we'll begin by first uh, finding the coordinates of B. Now, how are we going to find the coordinates of B? We are going to rely on the given equation of the curve. So the equation of the curve is y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 15. So we're going to rely on this equation for us to find the coordinates of B. Now you can see that B is lying on the x-axis. B is here. Okay? So what you have to know is that along the x-axis, the y-coordinate is zero. Okay? So because along the x-axis, the y-coordinate is zero and B is on the x-axis, it means that where there is y here in the equation, we're going to replace with a zero so we're going to have zero is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 15 all right so this can be written as x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equal to zero so we haven't changed anything this is same as this so now at this stage we can solve this quadratic equation using any of the methods that you've learned. So in this video, we are going to use the factor method. So for the factor method, first of all, we are going to find the product. The product, you are going to find the product by multiplying the coefficient of x squared is 1 times constant. So we're going to have negative 15 because we are saying 1 times negative 15 is negative 15. Then the sum, the sum we get the coefficient of x, which is 2. So the sum is 2. Then the factors, we are looking for two factors of negative 15 such that if we multiply those two factors, we'll get negative 15 and if we add them, we're going to get a 2. And those factors are negative 3 and 5. If we say negative 3 times 5, you get negative 15. Negative 3 plus 5, you get 2. So we're going to use this in solving. So which means we're going to have x squared, then pick the first factor negative 3 and then multiply it by x then pick the second factor together with a sign plus 5 multiply it by x then minus 15 is equal to 0 all right so you can see that we have 1 2 3 4 we have four terms so because we have four terms we are going to group these terms into two and then factorize the first two uh, terms separately and the first the second two terms separately so that's why i've put the line like this to, just to separate so what is common in x squared and 3x is x x squared divided by x is x then minus 3x divided by x is 3 then plus what is common in 5x and negative 15 is 5 is just 5 then 5x divided by 5 you remain with x then minus 15 divided by 5 is 3 is equal to 0 so you can see that what is in the brackets is the same always it should be the same if you have different things in the brackets it means you've gone wrong somewhere okay so at this stage we'll just pick one of these things that are in the brackets you have x minus 3 then pick these that are outside together with their signs so we have x plus 5 is equal to 0 all right 
So at this stage, it's either you have x minus 3 is equal to 0, which is this one, or x plus 5 is equal to 0. So at this stage, you want to remain with x. Your aim is to remain with x, so you have negative 3 here. So for you to remain with x, you are going to do the opposite of negative 3, which is plus 3. So that when you say negative 3 plus 3, you have a 0. So what you've done on the left-hand side of this equation, you also do it on the right. So even here, here we have a positive 5. So meaning for us to remove this, we are going to subtract a 5. So what you've done here, we also do it on the right of this equation. So which means that we are going to have x. This becomes a 0 is equal to 0 plus 3 is 3. Or this becomes a 0. We have x is equal to 0 minus 3 is negative. Uh, 0 minus 5 is negative 5. Okay? Now, remember we are finding the coordinates of b. Okay? And in the first place we said the y coordinate is 0. So on the y coordinates we are going to put a 0. So what we are finding is the x. So when you look at this, this is the origin. Numbers on the left are negative. Numbers on the uh, right are positive. So here we have a positive 3 and a negative 3. So meaning since b is on the right of 0 of the origin, it means we are going to get a positive value. So here we are going to have 3. So the coordinates of b are 3 comma 0. So b, uh, the coordinates are 3 comma 0. If you are with me up to this point, it means you are enjoying what I'm doing. Why can't you subscribe, hit the like button, comment and share. We are done with B. Now let's find C. So to find C again, we are going to rely on the equation Y is equal to the equation that we've been given. X squared plus 2X minus 15. So every time, rely on the given equation. So here, where C is, C is lying on the Y axis. So what you have to know again is that eh, along the y axis, x is equal to 0. So along the y axis, x is equal to 0. This is because as you go to the right, the x values increase or the x coordinates increase. But as you go to the left, the x values decrease until you reach here 0. So you see that here is 0. So along this line, x coordinates is 0. So that's why we've said this. So which means we are going to have y is equal to wherever there is x we are going to replace a 0. So we have 0 squared plus 2 z times 0 minus 15. So we have y is equal to this is 0 plus 0 minus 15. So minus 15 negative 15. Which means that the coordinates of c are 0 because in the first place we said x is equal to 0 so uh, 0 comma negative 15 okay so these are the coordinates of c so the key things that you are supposed to know is that eh, along the x axis y is 0 and along the y axis x x is 0 the next question says find the minimum value of y find the minimum value of y. So as I said, you, you rely on the equation that you've been given, which is y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 15. So we rely on this equation, y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 15. For you to find the minimum value of y, you are going to use the formula y is equal to uh, 4ac minus b squared over uh, 4a. So this is the formula that you are supposed to keep in mind. The formula that is going to help you find the minimum value of y. So at this point, we just have to find what a, b, and c are in the equation. a is always the coefficient of x squared. In this case, it's like we have an invisible one here. So a is equal to 1. Then b is always the coefficient of x. So the coefficient of x or the number that is in front of x is 2. So b is 2. Then c 
is always the constant, the number that has no variable, so negative 15. So what is needed is just to replace in this uh, formula. So we're going to have 4 times Z. A is 1. Then times C, C is negative 15. Then minus uh, B, B is 2. So 2 squared over 4 times A is 1. Right? So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times negative 15 is negative 60 minus 2 squared is 4 over 4 times 1 is 4. So we're going to have negative 60 minus 4 is negative 64 over 4. So negative 64 divided by 4 is negative 16. So this is the minimum value of y. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Once again, if you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe, hit the like button, comment and share. Spread the news that there is a channel that is uh, helping people in mathematics.